<laughs> Hi everyone. It's been a minute since I've been on the camera. And it feels good honestly to be back and vlogging and doing this again. I wanted to make this little clip saying that I am Peruvian and yes, my Spanish is very rusty. I don't really practice it a lot here. I need to start to. The only person who speaks Spanish here is my mom. Well, like constantly with me. So like that's really the only person that I have to practice it with. But I definitely want to practice it because the way my Spanish comes out, like I don't even know. <laughs> the things I say sometimes like I swear like I intentionally like I understand everything you know like I was fluent at one point um but like I like some of my words come out in Spanish and I'm just like what am I even saying like I know what I want to say but it's not coming out to those words or like sometimes like I'll just like speak Spanglish it's just like looks like, like people don't know <laughs> English so then I'm just like like I don't know or like I'll ask my mom like how do you say this word again like I don't know but bear with me and bear with my Spanish and if you're a fluent speaker good for you but yeah I am not and I need to get better at that but you know I'm working on it I'm working on it <laughs> this trip really helped honestly I feel like I like spoke better Spanish by the end of it not to toot my own horn I don't know so, if you hear like other people's Spanish, like compared to mine, I think you could hear in some clips other people's Spanish <laughs> compared to mine. Yeah, it's, it's not the same. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to put it out there in case you guys were wondering why like my Spanish is so bad. Or maybe to some people it sounds good. I don't, honestly don't know how it's going to come out, but yeah, enjoy. Bye! It's been a month since I've been back from Peru and it was so much fun to go. I would literally go back again. But I have a puffy jacket, sweater, then I have another shirt underneath. Then I have these sweatpants and some vans. Yeah, I'm so excited. Got my booster before getting on the plane, arrived at LAX, and here I am before going into security, then arrived in Mexico, back on the plane, put on horrible bosses too, currently headed over to Lima from Mexico City, and I was so lucky that I had no one sitting next to me, so I got so much room to sleep, then finally landed in Lima picked up our baggage here I am waiting for my mom from her flight 6 51 a.m. currently and then I landed in Trujillo later on headed over to Huanchaco and then we got some paparrellenas with some picarones there there this is what I was waiting for this is why I came to Peru just kidding but it was nice to have right there by the beach so now we are in Cajamarca it's about 5 a.m. in the morning and our first stop was to come over and see these beautiful statues just look at the details and all of these it's so incredible to actually see them in person and learn about their history this is Atahualpa he was one of the last Inca emperors we drive a little further and made it through Los Baños de los Incas so this was my first time in Cajamarca and it was so cool to see this little map here and we actually got to visit a lot of the spots that are on here so we made it inside those baños and we actually came over to Cajamarca with some friends and they were our little tour guides around the city so I just want to say muchas gracias a Alex y Valerie por ser nuestros guías turísticos so there was actually a lot of activities they could do here. There were spas, there were jacuzzis, there was the actual pools that you could go inside. Here I am with my mom inside one of the baños. It was such a cool experience. Then we headed over to see what Atahualpa's bathtub looked like and it was huge. <laughs> So then we walked a little bit more. I did bring a suitcase with me, which I instantly regret. It's literally a backpack thing. I don't know why I brought it. Anyways, so sorry, Alex. 
but it was such a pretty place to be in the morning like the sun was hitting just all the right angles perfect backdrop we definitely took a lot of pictures here it was so cool head over to this restaurant right across the street from it insert picture here so good back on the road again we're headed up pasaje colina santa polonia it was so pretty here it's such a good view of cajamarca we saw a llama it was so cool there was little shops there's people dressed the inca little uniforms so cute to be here obviously you know we had to take pics so insert some here This city is just filled of greenery. It is just so pretty to look at. So no one told me we were gonna be doing any hiking here. I was not prepared for this, but made it to the Ventanillas de Otusco. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a famous archeological site in Cajamarca. It has about 300 little windows that serve as a funerary. Um, it's really cool to look at and it comes with a pretty view then we headed over to la colpa it's like this ranch with the cows they had these goodies there they're really known for naming their cows and having a show but they didn't have it going on during the time that we went to visit but luckily we did see a cow on the road so that was fun finally made it to our last destination of the day this one involved a lot of walking Everyone was talking about going to go visit Cascadas. I had no idea what that meant. I didn't know that word. Turns out it's a waterfall. So this is a little pathway that you take. We're here coming to a new adventure. Don't know where it's at. Creo que se llama como catarata. No sé. I don't know. But Oh, look how cool. Look at this cow. I love livestock just hanging around. It's so hot. Should have worn a shirt. I'm gonna vlog today. Hi, look how much green it is. It's so cute. We took a quick break to take pictures on that rock. All right, we made it to the first cascada. Yes, first, because there is another one coming up after this that I was not prepared to hike up to. Que no llego. Que no llego. Que no puedo. Instead of the stairs, these stairs. Oh my god, they're so bad. I didn't want to pass out. I made it this far up. I just can't do this anymore. Cascada Pacha Macho. Casi llegamos. Ay. Por aquí. Um, there's always these rocks. It's everywhere. Everywhere here. A ver la cascada. Oh, it's so pretty. We made it. We took so many pictures and it was so funny and I loved it. Okay, I'll update you once we get some food because I'm really hungry. Got an Inca Cola because you know, gotta stay hydrated after that long walk. Then I was really craving a tamar, so I had to get one too. <laughs> Valerie made a TikTok of when your girlfriend invites you on a trip and says you won't be the photographer, but you end up being the photographer. <laughs> One of my favorite things was on the menu, gui, but unfortunately it was not as good. Here we are the next day enjoying a rico ceviche by La Laguna, Salsa Cocha, 
Look at that view, it's just amazing, I love it here. So we finally made it back to the Trujillo, we're actually staying at a hotel right across the beach in Juan Chaco. Huevos, fun, cafe. And my mom's is all milk. Ended our day just with a beautiful view from our room, looking over at the beach. Yeah, so that was part one of my trip. Sorry, I ended it kind of messy there, I feel. Um, I just think like the other clips that I have would be more consecutive to like a part two. Kind of put like all those clips like with my family and stuff all together. And then I wanted to make this whole other trip like just one vlog. This is just the beginning and I swear I have another part coming and I have many more coming after that. I am really going to dedicate my time to doing these and getting these out possibly weekly. I'm not quite sure yet, um, but I'm really excited and I'm glad you guys got to see a little bit of Peru with me. And I took you guys along. It was hard. I was not prepared to do, like, hiking. I don't know if that you would call that hiking. It was a lot of walking, which I, like, get out of breath. Like, I'm so out of shape. Like, I can't do the walks. <laughs> uh, but it was really fun. It was fun, like, getting guided around the city. Thank you again to Alex and Valerie for taking us through that because... They have like been there before, so that's why they took us around and it was really fun. Um, we got to eat good food, so that was really good. But kind of striked out on the kui, honestly. I was really hoping for a good kui on this trip, but we'll see if we get good kui or not. Um, if you know, you know. Um, anyways, yeah, stay tuned for the next part. Bye.